welcome to another exciting edition of our video if you're watching us in any of our social media handles you know what to do like this page if you have any question drop it in the comment section down below if you're watching us on youtube kindly subscribe to this channel don't just subscribe click on the notification bell so you know once we upload a new video you will be notified um, of course, this is where we are keeping it real, providing you all information as regards to pay television decoders. We also give you tech tips and prefer solutions to all kinds of issues. So let us know if you have any issue, if you want us to do um, any video as regards to any issue you are having. We always make our video as simple as possible so that... Um, you can do it yourself DYI this is the only place you can get that today we'll be doing a special video um, how to fix an RF connector to a Quasa cable this is an RF connector this is your Quasa cable so uh, most times when you get um, a new decoder especially a terrestrial decoder that requires an antenna you need to do this um, probably your antenna has been out for a while and due to rain or moisture or other environmental um, factors it, um, it got rust. you need to cut off the part that has um, that is bad um, then refix this RF to the Quasar cable so I'll be showing you guys how to do this it's quite easy um, you don't need um, any special tool to do this. We'll be doing that today, showing you how to do that with just uh, a razor blade. So, uh, first of all, we'll open our blade. Then, um, as you can see, this is the simplest RF connector in the market. Um, it's cylindrical in shape, but you can see that um, there is a particular length which we are going to be using from here to here then you can see that um, it kind of protrudes a little bit out from here to here so we are getting this measurement from here to here that is what we need we don't want the other length we are just getting that length why are we getting this length we want after fixing this there is a desired length we don't want the wire to go too long we just need it to come out a little bit i'm not using any measurements but um, the measurements I'm using here is just the measurement of the RF connector. The why um, why I am not saying okay use five meters, use ten meters, um, or I say non meter definitely <laughs> centimeters. Meters will be too long because there are different RF connectors in the market. So it is the length that we summarize. So I'm using the the length of this RF connector. Now you have seen where I measured, I will do, I will be making two cuts, a circular cut first, then a vertical cut. The vertical cut helped me to remove easily. So I will be making a circular cut round to a, um, cut off the outermost black covering of this quasar cable. I have done the first circular cut, then a vertical cut, so it will be easier for me. To remove this so you can see very easy so it's exposing the white insulator that covers the wire you can also remove this we pull this down a little bit now once this is exposed the next thing is to make another cut circular first vertical like 1 cm or 1.5 i can't see i don't have a meter here a meter rule or so it's not even necessary to do the vertical cut but if you wish to you can also do that now we have removed the insulator so you can see how how clean this is please note that um, the um, the insulator the white insulator the is um, a centimeter 
um, higher than the black outermost covering. There is a reason for this because it helps you hold the ROF connector in position internally. So we'll just go ahead and fix your, our ROF. So if you see from the inside, I'm not sure you guys can see that. You've seen the um, the white insulator holds this in position, so it's very 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 interesting and it's very easy to do. Now, um, it's not really compulsory. Sometimes, um, some people like doing this, but it's not compulsory. You just to get a tape. There is a black one. I have a paper tape with me to hold it tightly, firmly into position. So I will just put it on just to give it extra to make it very firm it's firm already though so at the end of the day you have something like this so you can put this to your antenna or at the back of your decoder it's fine so you can see very easy something you can do at home anybody can do that i hope you guys enjoyed this edition of our video i know you guys enjoyed it so let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed it um don't forget to subscribe i'll be expecting to see you guys in the next edition of our video bye